Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is a Courseplay tutorial for Farming Simulator 22. Courseplay 7 has been out for almost a month now. I hadn't realised it'd been out for as long as it had. I'd, I'd been waiting to play Farming Simulator 22 again once Courseplay had been released, but uh, Comston Farm has just been released by Oxygen David as well, so I thought I would turn on Farming Simulator 22 again and, yeah have a look at what's new so we're going to start with the basics in this episode just quickly looking at basically how you set up a course because you've got to give credit to the creators of course play they've had to completely redesign it from what i can gather um the actual interface itself and some of the other things as well because of the new helper system that farming simulator 22 has so it is a completely different system so if you're used to farming you know playing on fs19 or even fs17 then this will be completely different it stumped me for a few minutes until i kind of finally worked out what's what there is a mini hood, hood here which doesn't really give you many options it gives you basically this is how you start your helper on the course so you've got your nearest waypoint and your first waypoint and I open this I should say that shouldn't I by hitting delete on my keyboard so you hit delete and you get this mini hood you've got obviously these are how you start your courses once you've generated the courses but there is another cool little feature on this as well which is like a really just you don't have to do anything for this so if you've got a field with bales that either need collecting or wrapping you can just select this option in the mini hood and then press enter and if you've got a tractor with a and the wrapper or a bale collector it will go around and collect those bales it's not completely um foolproof it i've noticed when it's it depends on the field actually if i just hit delete again like this field here it's long and thin it is quite tricky for a bale for well for the anderson bale collector trailer to kind of navigate and i noticed my fps was dropping from 60 to about 20 at times when it was trying to root find to the different bales and things like that but it's still a cool little feature don't have to do anything at all just Press delete on your keyboard, get the mini hood up, and then select that. And if there's bales in the field, drive your tractor to the field and then press enter and it will go. Or you can just click the actual hire worker button there. But uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit more and see how that works once we've actually mowed this field. Because that's what we're going to do in this course play tutorial is mowing this field and then we're going to bale it as well. Keeping things simple, so I'm using the Gaverland mower which has the, ro the rower as attached to it so basically we don't have to do any raking but this will work equally if you want to use like a rake as well so it's just a little bit different how you do that so let's actually generate a course enough of me waffling on so we need to go this time you don't hit the right button on your mouse anymore that will that won't do anything you've got to go into the actual menu and then you've got to go to your create job screen that you would normally have anyway so we've got this screen up here and we're going to this is how we create our courses there's a few more options as well so you've got the one below it which is like this route planning this is how you save and manage your courses you can actually rename courses as well which is a great feature and then you've got your different options so you've got your global settings for your course play so you've got show all active um, courses cp driver wages uh, automatic repair this is set to repair but i've turned that off i don't want that on and then you've got kind of your vehicle specific settings like your field work speed field speed turn speed and things like that in this little option here but we want to generate a course we're going to do our mowing in field eight so we're going to go to create job and you'll see there nothing happens you know nothing recognizable as course play comes up you've got to select uh, cp field work so cp obviously course play field work and then you don't actually type in the field number this time to generate your course you actually go to target position so if you hit that click once and then once again that will actually set which field we're working in so click on target position this is like you're doing a drive to course so click in the field that you want to operate in left click left click again and then you see here cp open close course generation which is fine working width is in feet i'm not sure if you can have the option to have meters i would prefer meters if i'm honest it might be an option somewhere but i'm still learning the basics of course play so it's in feet it seems to be quite good at working out how wide this is so it is a 33 foot wide mower although that does seem really yeah no 10 meters 33 foot yeah that's right so we've got the working width field center up down or spiral we want to go up down headland corners um round because we do have round corners headland direction clockwise headland overlap so that's basically when it's in the headland how much it overlaps by uh, so i normally go around five percent skip rows because we're doing bailing we want to skip row in this one because the baler doesn't have that great of a turning circle 
So we do want, I think one skip rose fine, rose per headland. When the centre mode land is rose, yeah, I just, I haven't touched that actually. When the centre mode is lands, how many rows are each block? Hmm, take a look a little bit more. I've just left that at six. Up, down, direction, automatic, angle, left that. Now the start, uh, you've either got headland or you've got centre. So basically this tells you where it, you're either starting on your headland. So if you're doing harvesting, obviously you want to set start in your headland. So the harvesting goes around the headland. But for pretty much absolutely everything else, you normally want to start in the centre. That basically starts in the centre of your course. And this is particularly important for this application actually because once you're doing the baling, if you start on your headland with a baler, obviously you'll have a headland full of bales. And then when the tractor comes to do the centre course, obviously it's going to try and turn around and obviously it's going to crash into bales. So if you do centre first, you'll end up with the bales, for the most part, in the centre of the map, in the centre of the field rather, and then it'll do the headland first. It's just a much better way of ensuring that the tractors don't crash into any rogue bales. So yeah, start on centre and then we're going to go generate field work course and hopefully all that's worked. Just hit escape to get rid of that screen and you can see there we've got our course i think actually i'm just going to try uh let's have a look number of headlands i'm going to try two headlands actually so we'll generate the course again so either hit enter or hit uh, generate course so we'll hit that then escape to get rid of that screen and yeah we've got our two so in fact it's only going to do three up down rows because this is a little thin field it's probably not the best to gem demonstrate but you still get the idea it'll finish on the headland so hopefully it won't crash into any bales and then we can start yeah we can start the job from this screen so if i click we oh yeah <laughs> it probably helps to say as well you need to be in the tractor that you're going to be working on so we've got this mccormick x8 uh, tractor here with the mowers on uh, so you want to be in that to begin with that that really does help doesn't it so you need to be in the tractor that you're starting the course on and then you need to be obviously in the field obviously you need a tractor to actually low course play in the first place otherwise you know you can't really do anything right next thing is before we start the course i just want to quickly go over this screen because this looks quite complicated to begin with what field is that we are in field eight so i think what i'm going to do i just quickly want to get rid of this one which i've already saved so i'm going to go to down here you've got change mode and then this allows us to actually edit rename and delete entries and move entries into folders as well so this one here is field data and i'm going to delete that entry and then you have to click either space or click the activate button here and then are you sure you want to delete yes i do okie dokie so that's done that and then i'm going to go to change mode again and then we'll go to save course and nothing happens you think what's going on you've got to click activate so target low pop no save course activate eight and then mow and collect because this course is going to be using for mowing and either collecting later on when i've got a uh, silage collectors loading wagons rather uh, or bailing so field eight mow, mow and collect that's how i my naming convention for my um, courses anyway so what we can also do on this as well is we can clear the current course that we're on so we're currently loaded on a course here if i go to that and go clear call clear current course we can actually load our courses as well so obviously field date load that course again you want to be in the track that you're going to be starting the course on hopefully and then if you actually i think if you load the course it won't appear in this create job screen so instead what you can do if you see this if you loaded your course and thinking hey there's not, nothing happening in this screen if you just go back to here and then press delete again you've got the mini hud and then you click on here uh, start at first waypoint just hit either enter or you can hit that button there and uh, nothing happens <laughs> um what have i done wrong there moment collect load course i hadn't clicked activate that's why nothing happened in that screen okie dokie yeah you can still see i'm learning it is a completely different system so you'll have to forgive me so yeah field date moment collect load course or we'll do it again load course activate yeah so whenever you do anything on this screen and nothing happens you, you need to click activate for anything to happen which i guess is is pretty straightforward so we can start the course from here i'm thinking can we no we can't because we haven't got those options there. If I go create 
CP. So we can, if yeah, we got we got to go back to create job, but not to worry. Yeah, don't need to worry about that. Hit delete, get your mini HUD up, and then hit enter. And he's gonna go off and do his thing. When you've got the mini HUD up, you can't do anything, so you can't change the camera or anything like that. So you click delete, and then that just releases that. So it basically locks the screen up completely and gives you that overlay as well. So he's gonna go off to the first first course point, start trigger. And he's gonna mow this field and it's gonna be rowed at the same time. So yeah, pretty straightforward really. So I'm gonna leave him doing that and then we'll come back and we'll do the next phase, which is obviously bailing, which this works straight off the bat with the fast bail, which is good to see. Uh, I know, well, I guess it's it's an old mod, uh, well, it's not a mod, it's an old model now, isn't it? So it should work straight away. I know to begin with, Courseplay had issues one when this DLC came out, but it worked straight away with the fast bail, no issues. So this is, yeah, I'm just showing you this kind of this course system because this is what i'm doing first of all on this map so this is my proper playthrough i'll be doing more later on so i'm going to be showing you about plowing and stuff like that but i just want to make a bit of money as quick as possible and this is probably one of the quickest ways of making money is just using the fast bale and the bale collect trailer so yeah we're going to leave him mowing this field and rowing at the same time then we'll come back and we'll do the baling Okie dokie, so he's finished mowing that lawn now, that's all fine, start the engine again. Uh, has, have I got to do anything? Nope. Just start the engine, get him out of the way. Like so, turn the engine off and then jump into this tractor here. So we've got the, well I've got a Vertland version of it, the fast bale. And yeah, obviously, the name is exactly as it says on the tin. Bring up the hood, actually, that might help. Couldn't uh, see if the engine was on. So, yeah, we're just going to run up to... So where was the start? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? So, yeah, Courseplay will work as it uses... Well, Courseplay uses the built-in helper, the AI helper. And then it, it just... Just the way it uses it, a lot more intelligent, so... It works with all like manual gears and things like that, so we don't need to worry about having tractors manual gears switched on. All works perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the main menu, press an escape. We're going to go to this menu here, course play, and then we're going to go to A to Mow and Collect. We're going to go load course, and then we're going to hit activate. And then hopefully we should see that course is laid there. Where's the starting point? Um, you don't have to, you can just let the tractor drive to the starting point like we did the last time but it's just a little bit more straightforward and quicker often just to drive to the starting point where we want to be and playing with manual gears on because I think it's just uh, an awesome feature of this game um, right so we'll just line up very roughly with that now we could potentially have had two tractors work in the same field but I just went well, particularly when I'm doing mowing and bailing i just like to have one tractor on the field at any one time so we've loaded the course we're going to hit delete and then we're going to go to we'll go first waypoint and the starting at working width is 9.2 feet is that right the, yes i think it is isn't it? yeah three meters it's kind of throwing me off there horizontal no we don't need any offsets 
and then we're just going to hit or you can either hit enter or press the button and then it's going to uh, collect those collect the grass turn it to bales nice and straightforward struggling five miles per hour yeah it does I've noticed with the fast baler if it's doing silage wrap bales it is a little bit slower or a lot slower than when it would be doing like a normal bale like hay bale or a straw bale it does have to slow it down a little bit just to give it that time to wrap the bale but yeah that's gonna gonna wrap those so it's pretty straightforward it's just once you know like the the basics of how to generate courses then it is it is a lot more straightforward and i don't th i'm not sure if if i go into let's just jump in to this tract here if i go to create job uh cp field work yeah so that is just field work I i'm not sure if there's any way to load you you know how you used to be able to manually create courses there doesn't appear to be any way to do that but it's not the end of the world because on Carlton farm auction david has managed to write it so that the cp that the go to feature does actually work so as long i think as long as you leave your target position on a road it will work no problem so you don't really have to go around generating those manual courses like you used to i'm sure you must have to be able to later on i think they must be working on that because of things like auto unloading and stuff like that but i haven't figured that bit out yet this is i'm just learning the basics as i go along and i just thought this is one of the most basic things that you could be doing with course place so i think i'm just gonna leave it there actually or should i no i think what i'll do is i'll just i know i said i only like to have one tractor in the field at any one time but i thought i might show you this now, i'm not sure i'm not entirely sure how this is going to work with me recording because like i said before my fps did go right down as the cpu was straining to kind of root fine to where the bales are but i just thought i would show you this so within this tractor here go into field number eight hit delete and then you see start at collect collecting wrapping bales so this will either wrap bales uh, manually or it will collect them so working with three foot don't need to worry about that just hit enter and he is going to go off and get rid of that so we can move the camera around now it will just take bales any old angle so it won't take them in a realistic angle which is not you know i, I guess it's just it is difficult enough trying to code something to find bales and it's, it's a really clever system actually you know it will root find to each of the bales but it'll take them on angles like this which does break the immersion a little bit i think but yeah we'll, we'll take it for what it is it really is a cool little feature and you don't have to do anything really it'll do it itself so once it's full of bales we can just use the standard in-game go to and then we can go to where we sell bales over here um well we don't sell them straight away anymore because we have to wait for them to ferment inside the tractor, don't we? So that's just something to bear in mind. Yeah, a little bit of a bash into them. I think that bale was just placed. Yeah, I think the thing with this, I would definitely wait for all the bales to be delivered <laughs> before we go around and put this in. So yeah, it's got a little bit mad. So if we just hit enter again, uh, hopefully we can rescue this. Uh, so hit enter to dismiss the worker and hopefully we can uh, get out of there. Oh, the G stopped. Why? Helper A is blocked by an object. We'll check that out in a minute. Let's just get this tractor out of the way. I'm not sure. I don't think it's like the fact that I had those two things going on at the same time. I think it's just had a little bit of a hiccup. Probably my fault for trying to do two things. Because like I said, the, the wayfinding to the bales does take is quite demanding on the cpu and yeah we've just ended up in the middle of nowhere never mind we'll just don't oh, don't drop the bale there yeah we'll probably just confuse things a little bit oh that's that's nasty uh so what we want to do it's good actually a good opportunity to show you this so if i hit delete again we can go to last waypoint and then hit enter and hopefully this will just pick up where it left off as I smack my knuckle on the keyboard. Uh, so yeah, this should just pick up where it left off, hopefully. Not entirely sure where that was, but yeah. I think that little hiccup was just literally because I had two tractors working in the same field at the same time. So all should be good, I hope. Yeah. 
I think I'll leave it there anyway. I think I've just demonstrated the basics. I will do a few more cosplay tutorials. Oh yeah, it's just picking up from this this little, little last bit here. But I do intend to do loads more cosplay tutorials and as more features get added. But as you can see, you know, you've already got most some of the most basic tools that you'll need. Is he going to run over that bale? He is. So delete, enter, just to stop that worker. And then we'll just back off. Yeah, I think what I would normally do when I'm doing this myself is I would be on standby with the bale loader and just be taking any bales which I think might be a problem. So some things sometimes you have to just do them manually, it's just a little bit better. But yeah, let's see if we can do that again. So last waypoint, you know, it's gonna try and go back, isn't it? Right. Let's uh, go delete, let's go to nearest waypoint, see if that does anything. Yeah, hopefully that will work this time. But yeah, it's still pretty cool that we've got course play and farming simulator and we've got all like the most basic elements and some cool little features as well. So I think I will leave it there for today and say until next time, bye bye.